So I wanted to show how I transfer my T from here to here. So since I'm in the wheelchair, reaching up like this is a pain. So And then, of course, I just grab a paper towel so I can clean up anything that I have gotten in a bad place. Um, don't have to worry too much about the stuff in this drawer, but, you know, it's one of our many disorganized drawers. So, yeah, it's stuff. I have no idea. My grandmother... My grandmother, looking around this house, this very, very messy, clogged stuff everywhere house. Um, where there's just stuff everywhere and nowhere to, like, move things to because it's a condo. We don't have an attic. We don't have a basement. We don't have a garage. Everything we own is surrounding us all the time. There's nowhere to put things. And, you know, I, like... Yeah, it, it's practically a hoarder house. But the reason I can't help to laugh is my grandmother looks around and goes, Oh, we have too much stuff. We need to get rid of things. I'm like, yeah, Grandma, we do. We do need to get rid of things. Hey, what if I use, you know, a couple hundred dollars to get a personal organizer for a couple days or a couple hours? And she's like, oh, uh, mm, personal organizer. All they want to do is get rid of stuff. But we need to get rid of stuff? <laughs> Grandma? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, Grandma. You, you gotta start understanding I am disabled. My body is broken. I can't do shit that I used to. Okay? Um... <laughs> I cannot access parts of this house if I'm using only the wheelchair, you know? <laughs> I'm just... Like, come on, Grandma. It seems like the more we try to clean this place out and get stuff cleaned up, the more stuff we actually just have, like, piling up because we're trying to sort it and organize it. And this is just, these are just the cardboard boxes. I have to break them down before I put them. Yeah, I mean, look, look, guys, look. 
Look at my house. I am gimpy and crippled. How am I supposed to do any of this cleaning and organizing? And when I try to, and I try to get rid of things, my grandma rescues them. There's stuff I try getting rid of and throwing out and getting out of this house to save space. And then like six months later, I find that object in some weird random place. And if you really think like this is not a border situation, there's stuff everywhere. Welcome to underneath the kitchen table. When we're not using the oven, this is where we dry the tea bags and orange peels. <laughs> I can't do this no more. <laughs> this is not what this video was meant to be, but look, I can't do this anymore. All I do is like cook two meals in a day and the kitchen's a mess and I'm exhausted. How am I supposed to do that plus clean and try to organize? The house, my bedroom are getting worse and worse. And I don't understand why my grandmother doesn't understand that I can't do the shit I used to. I used to clean for like eight straight hours a day, okay? When I was married, my ex-husband, he complained about how much I cleaned because all I did was clean. I basically woke up and started cleaning and I would play some video games and stuff like throughout the day, but I would usually clean for at least two or three hours without really any rest whatsoever. My energy has, my stamina, motivation still up here, which unfortunately means my anxiety about being unproductive is up there, okay? I want to be a productive person and do things, but I literally can't. Grandma, we need to get rid of things. We need to clean this place up. It is a fucking mess. We're living in a hoarder home and I'm stuck in a wheelchair. Can you do something, please? Like, clean or actually, you know, leave the stuff I get rid of in the garbage instead of bringing it back into the house and hiding it somewhere and claiming that there's going to be a future use for a... Uh, a hair dryer whose heating coil doesn't work anymore. <sighs> That's something I'm trying to do. I'm trying to sing out my frustration. So, this was meant to be a short. That's why I started recording it in vertical mode. Obviously, it's not a short. But you know what? I'm recording it in vertical mode anyway because. I don't even understand why people do it the wide mode. That's not how I see. My field of vision is like here. So when everyone's got their, you know, wide screen view, like, uh, like, I don't understand how people see this area here. I've never had peripheral vision. So when I see wide, the you know, normal YouTube videos. I'm only focusing on what's right here anyway. All the stuff to the sides. I don't see the point of it. That's not how my natural vision works. My vision is not wide. It is more square. But like, peripheral vision is not a concept I understand. Put it that way. You know, my gimpiness has developed in different ways over the years. But my eyes have basically always sucked. From a young age. So I like the vertical. 
plus it makes it a lot easier to actually scroll through and watch YouTube videos instead of scroll, click, press the full screen, turn it, wait for it to screen rotate, realize that it doesn't want to screen rotate that way, turn the thing the other direction. And st it's stupid. It's frustrating. Y'all just start doing vertical videos. Everyone watches on their phone anyway. Just start doing vertical videos. Fuck it. This is more accessible to me. Like, does anyone really have their phone sideways so they're like this and they're scrolling through YouTube with it this way? No, you're looking at it this way and then you have to turn your phone and put it onto full screen to see what's going on. A vertical video, just scroll, click, watch, scroll, click, watch. No big deal. Just, just start uploading shit vertical, y'all. It makes more sense to me. Like, if y'all actually have, like, this wide view where you can see stuff on the side, bully for you, good for you, I don't know what that's like. To me, that's fake. That's fake. And peripheral, no, that's fake. Field of vision. Here. All this stuff on the sides that people put in movies and videos, fake. Bullshit. Y'all are lying to my blind ass, ain't ya? That was satire. That was kidding. I haven't woken up yet. I was feeling anxious, and so I just babbled a bunch. Have fun. I really, really, really just want this house fixed up and cleaned up. I feel like all I'm doing constantly is trying, trying to make some form of progress. That's all. Day after day after day after day after day, I'm just trying to make some form of progress. Never succeeding. If my grandmother cannot listen to me and understand that my disorder is progressive, degenerative, it's gonna get worse, I need help. You can't say that you don't want other people in your house and you can't have people cleaning up after me because I'm sorry, I need help. And I don't want to have to live that kind of life, but I'm forced into it because my body is broken and I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. My various limbs are not going to stay as functional as they are now and they're not even that functional now. So if I want to actually be able to make any form of progress in my life at all, she needs to get over her thing where she doesn't want other people in her house because like <laughs> the stuff I need help with she's not doing for me. I don't even feel right asking her to. But that just means day after day my room and the house are getting messier and worse and messier and worse and I'm just beating myself up with anxiety and guilt and damn near self-loathing for being, you know, a fucking failure at something I used to be doing constantly. And that's not fair to me. Because I didn't exactly choose my disability, now did I? Grandma. My entire life right now just feels like I can do nothing. And I'm waiting on other people to give me help. But nobody gives a fuck. So, yeah. I'm still waiting for the case management service people. I'm pretty sure all of my medica medical referrals are expired. Oh, here's another reason I'm stressed. My girlfriend has like almost none of her medication. Her heart failure medication, for one, hasn't been refilled. Her sodium supplement, not refilled. Her estradiol, not refilled. Damn near the medication that she has that's super important, not being refilled. So, <laughs> I'm a little fucking terrified because without her heart failure medication, she could, I don't know, have some sort of heart failure. Hmm. Wonder why I'm stressed. And no. I don't know why it's not being refilled because something happened with her pharmacy app and she cannot access it. So, you know, 
if I randomly vanish for a couple months and I come back and don't have a girlfriend anymore, hmm. Just a little bit motherfucking stressed right now. Yeah. I don't really want my girlfriend to die from not having our medication yet. We don't know why it wasn't refilled. We weren't told why it wasn't refilled. We have no idea when it will be refilled. Just she's randomly being stopped from her heart failure medication. So I guess that's why I made this long video. So yeah. In fact, just to make sure y'all actually watch it to this part, I'm gonna clickbait ya. Yeah. I'm gonna put clickbait in the thumbnail, or in the, in the title. So, you're only allowed to be mad at me about the clickbait if you actually got to this point where I said that it was clickbait. Thanks for watching. I don't know why you're here.